Well, right here is the planter that I got at Lowe's when I went to Lowe's. Yeah. <laughs> Is that not pretty? And I put a walking onion there because I didn't know what to do with them right now. And a walking onion on this side. And I still have this beautiful arrangement in here. I took out all my mint that was in here. I want to try to better utilize my little planter. I can't remember where we got this. I want to thank Tractor Supply. But I think I'm going to like it a lot better. Here's Eli's cucumbers. He has a lunchbox red, and I think he said a lunchbox orange. Yeah. But look, something's eating on the leaves. And I put my concoction down in there to catch slugs because I keep calling them snails, but they're slugs. But you won't believe how many I've seen working in the garden. I think a lot of it's because of the rain. Although I'm worried about my cucumbers, I know I should get a few. Yeah, this year's not been the greatest for cucumbers. This one's starting to, I call it, Vining out or something. I need to figure out how I want to support them. But this one back here, this one, this one, and this one, I think all started out about the same size. But that one keeps getting eight on. And again, my concoction for slugs. Again, peppers aren't doing good in here. I don't know if it's just me or the peppers. And it seems like, hang on a second. It seems like every year when I plant peppers, they just don't seem like they're growing as good. I'm not sure exactly what it is. My peppers here. That's why I put so many in the same container to start with. Something again, eating on the leaves. I did treat with the diatomaceous earth, but I don't think it's taking care of everything. Again, right here. Same thing on the peppers, slugs, and my concoction. Now, my tomatoes, on the other hand, seem, for the most part, you'll see what I'm saying, it seems like they're doing fairly good. I've got to get them staked. It's been raining, but i got to get out here and get them staked. And look at these. They, they're really taking off. I think I'm going to have some pretty tomatoes if I can uh, keep whatever you call it, taking care of them. Now, these tomatoes, look, same dirt as here, but they're not doing as well. Not sure why. Maybe it, I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me. But these tomatoes... These tomatoes and these tomatoes look like they're doing pretty good. I still haven't transplanted the sage yet. And we determined, I think, two sages maybe. I know this is a sage. But I think this is also a sage. I could be totally wrong, but it just looks like it. So I, I want to transplant those. Again, I have a cucumber here. This is the one that Eli and I both thought might be two in the same container, and I just planted them together. And I'll probably let them bind up this railing. I think I'll bind them up. Hi, kitty, kitty. Mary goes, I don't believe we're going to come back, so I may plant something else in here. Something ate them all the way down before I planted them, and I thought, well, I'll plant them and see if they come back from the root, but I'm not sure they will. Lemon thyme. I'm not real good 
yet at growing lemon thyme, so I'm going to have to see what to do about that. And I still have a lavender in here I haven't planted, have I? No, I haven't. And here's another one of Eli's peppers. It's the Gypsy Mini Bell. I thought it gotten three snack peppers. But again, the leaves are kind of curled. Something's ate on them. So I'm not sure that they're going to make it. Here's a tortilla chip hosta that I got at Lowe's. And I decided I was going to plant it directly into the ground. I want to start doing more of that of perennials that I can have come back every year, hopefully. So, I planted that one there for now. Here's another thyme I already had. It might have been a German thyme. I can't remember, but it's a thyme. And the three little strawberries that I've been trying to hang on in here from uh, when I had them outside the fence. So I'm not sure what they're I've got a little be. one following me around this morning. Don't I, gal? I do. And, as always, my Mediterranean garlic survives everything. Everything. And, starting to bloom out. That's why I hang on to it to have a pretty bloom. It has a bunch of buds. I want to uh, paint my furniture. I've got to sand that. I want to paint my furniture at some point, but right now I just want to get this mess of a yard looking a whole lot better. Another plant. This was the one that Kenny and Eli got me for Mother's Day at Lowe's <laughs> that I split up. There was six plants in the pot, and I put three over here and three over here. The ones over here seem like they're doing... Pretty good, they keep laying flat because we've had so many rainstorms since I've transplanted them. I took out the pool. I mean, out, yeah, no. Took out the, what do you call it? I took out the plastic pond I had in here. It was big and gawky. I, mainly what it had was a couple of wild flowers in it and this time, I'm not Tom, mint. So I brought in a smaller container for now and put a bunch of the mint right down in here. And that way I'm not losing it and it will continue to grow. I have one wildcat, there he is. Aren't you? I'm talking about you. That comes in here and lays right there. I keep having to run them off, or her, because it wants to lay right there. It's killed off one of these little flowers. But I put begonias, and I can't remember what the name. I'm not even sure the tag was right on these flowers. Another lavender. The strawberries back here, we're growing them. We're growing strawberries. I forgot to tell Eli. Look here. Strawberry, strawberry. We got two strawberries. I put the petunias from the school right there. And of course I have my fuchsia. I really like my fuchsia plant. I'm trying to track bees and such and I see where I didn't get all, I'm leaving the ferns in. I dug them up in the woods last year and planted that one, that one, and that one. I'm gonna have to get these transplanted soon, but I bought these at Ugo. They had been almost $9 for $3.99. And they're very pretty. They're about at the end of their life. I think they were Mother's Day. So I need to get these transplanted and this high, Hi, I can't say the word. I said it yesterday. Hi, uh, son. Hi, son. Filtered sunlight. Keep moist. So I figured this one might be good in the backyard. And it was $2.99. And both of these came from Hugo. 
So I'm anxious to get them in the ground, like I say in a video. I know. What are you doing? I'm trying to uh, do more perennials and flowers. Fixing the rain again, so I better get this show on the road. This is where I usually put my chickens when I have to rehome them. Not rehome them, but move them to different areas or try to protect them. I've got this uh, wired, I'm going to call it a coop here. And I usually keep this side covered so it'll stay drier. But I've decided I'm going to try to grow a garden underneath it. And it's going to be a garden that once, if it takes off, I can move this out. Or maybe just move it around. Who knows? That way, nothing's walking around on it. But I planted a sweet basil rocket from the Dollar Tree. I planted parsley right there from the Dollar Tree, the rocket. And I planted thyme here from the Dollar Tree a rocket and I've had them for a year or two so I don't know if they're going to come up but if they do that'd be great if not I'll work on something else and I thought to add a little interest in here I put my little piggy I've had forever and I planted some seeds just spread out some seeds under this straw for some wildflowers so we're going to see what happens in this area, I figured it was pretty good fertilized, if you know what I mean. Might be too fertilized, but it's a spot if I hadn't done this, it was just sitting there doing nothing, so I thought I'd try. And I think I showed you that already, didn't I? Showed you my hosta. I think I've showed you about everything. I really do. But it may not look like much, but I've got quite a bit out of here, quite a bit cleaned up. A lot of the stuff that I raked out from here, I put over here, and I need to spread it out, and then I want to mulch. But I can't do that today because it's probably going to rain all day. And for now, I kept this little galvanized metal right here to keep cat food under because I have certain cats that eat under here as you see there's the stinker that gets in my plant and lays and that's boo she uh moved in here when her family left her years ago I'm not sure where this one came from but he likes or she laying right there so I'm gonna have to try to put a stop to that if anybody knows what to do Please help me. Please help me. You better go. Yeah. You can eat, but stay out of my plants, okay? Stay out of my yeah, plants. Yeah, this right here is where I bought, brought out a bunch of coffee grounds I've been saving. And I put, filled it up that far with water. I know they're supposed to be good for tomato plants and certain other things. So I need to look, make sure, because I'm going to try, I think, to... Uh, I think my tomato plants are big enough now to fertilize, but I also need to treat them so they don't get the fungus that they've got in the past couple of years because when they get to a certain height, I'm told you can uh, treat them with a concoction. Now, this right here, little garden, was inspired by my daughter, our daughter, when... Uh, we went to visit with her. I actually was going to do an herb garden in here several years ago after I came back from a trip, and then I winded up trying to plant other stuff. And there's another flower. I believe I got that one at Lowe's, too. It's called a Jolly Cherry Dianthus. And I know that comes back every year. But I've got sage in here. And you can tell something's been digging in here. And I don't see my little tag. Some uh, parsley. There, My tag's gone out of here. I think that's lemongrass. 
I need to make another tag before I forget that's what it is. I think it's a lemongrass, though. No, maybe it's something different. Here's a tag. Yeah, it's lemongrass. Ah, I remembered. Put a walking onion here. Lemongrass. Omi wants some dill, but I told her it doesn't look like my dill's coming up very well. What's this? Yeah, that's dill. It's still real little. Sage and chives, and of course, parsley. And then this was the kitchen garden that I got at Lowe's. Again, laid over. Uh, you seen how the, see there's something, is that a bug? I don't know if that was bug or dirt. But something keeps eating on my basil. Oh, there's a spider. I see a little spider. And even though I treated on my soil, I'm still having issues. So I don't know what to do. And this is some uh yeah, mint that I pulled out of here. I just threw it down right here. Call it chaotic gardening. It smells really good. I figure if it takes off and spreads out through here, that's just some free ground cover. And it will smell good. Might keep the cats out. Who knows? But that's how my inspired herb garden starting to take shape. The, the table came out. I put a little height in here. I still haven't hung anything up. It's going to be a while before I get it all done, but... Get, I'm getting there. Planted another lavender in this container in front of the porch. Got to maybe this fall, try to find somebody that can help me move these two Japanese maples. I thought they were dwarf when I bought them, but they're not, but they're beautiful. But they need to come out of these planters. Look at that one, how big. Look how big. It's beautiful, but they're just too big for the area. But beautiful. Another lavender. Here's some more of the mint that I pulled out of the black planter in the back, in the little side yard. I decided I'd put it right here. And I got that planter cleaned out and this was the mint that was in the pond in the backyard so there's mint here which is chocolate mint and mint here i think it's spearmint and right now of course it's kind of getting used to where it's at because i transplanted it but that's about it for now